In this Elden Ring video, I'm going to show you my Drake Knight build, which is a New Game Plus build that focuses on the use of the Magma Worm Scale Sword and its weapon ability, Magma Guillotine. The reason I decided to make this a New Game Plus build instead of a regular game build is because it's very, very stat hungry. The weapon itself requires 24 strength, 15 dexterity, 18 faith. It's rather heavy, weighing 15. You need FP, costs 20 FP to I default to use this weapon ability. Plus 10 for the follow-up attack, which means you're going to need points in mind. You're going to need points in vigor. So you need a kind of a hefty stat spread. You could probably make this build around 100 plus, maybe 120, and like kind of like barely get it together. But I think it'll just play better in New Game Plus with having everything put together from the very get-go, including things like Shard of Alexander and the Drake Knight set, which are found at the very end of the game. So first of all, let's talk about Magma Worm Scale Sword. This is a curved greatsword weighing 15, which is pretty damn heavy for a curved greatsword. It's the second heaviest of all of them. You can find it not too far into the game in the Rune Strewn Precipice, which is kind of in the Altus Plateau type area. Not very hard to get to or very far into the game. So you can actually get this weapon rather early on, but it's probably going to take you a while before you can, you know, at least have some decent stats to use with it. Some of the things I really like about this weapon are first, the attack rating on it is pretty damn high. I am not exaggerating here. It's about 900 or so unbuffed with this build. And then when you're fully buffed, it's about 1,350. That is staggering attack rating for a weapon that weighs 15. That's higher than some colossal weapons, a lot of colossal weapons. That's higher than a lot of um, colossal great swords. So you're getting a lot of damage here for relatively good weight and also the attack speed on this weapon, particularly when you're two-handed, is really, really fast. It attacks much faster than you would think, so it allows you to get off attacks while enemies are winding up and you're getting that damage on them while they're trying to hit you, increasing your damage by even more. It's just really, really solid. A couple other things about this weapon. The R2 and charged R2 attacks have hyper armor on them, meaning that you can usually withstand a regular attack and still get it off. Even with light armor, or medium armor, equip load, or not a lot of poise. I'm not using an armor set here that has a lot of poise, and I can still get these off uh, on regular enemies. So that's really great. So you can get off charged R2s very easily with this build. And if you used an armor that had higher poise, this would be even easier to do. The reason I didn't pick an armor with higher poise for this build is because, frankly, I don't use R2 that much. It's very, very usable. It's just I don't really find that I need it. R1 takes care of most regular enemies and Magma Guillotine takes care of the rest. Another thing to note as well that the jump attack animation with R2 does a similar type animation that the R2 attack does where you kind of grab the sword in two hands and plunge it into the ground. I don't really like this because it shortens the reach of the sword considerably. The R2 has the same problem, which makes it less useful than it would be if it still had the good reach of the weapon. So Magma Guillotine is an ability that where you sort of crouch down, jump up into the air and land and hit the enemy if you hit them for damage and then put magma all over the ground that then hits them and you can do a follow up for another attack. And it uses a lot of stamina. It's not super FP expensive and it's absolutely devastating. This ability does both fire and physical damage and it scales with all three stats, strength, dexterity and faith with strength and dexterity increasing its physical damage and faith increasing its fire damage. One of the things that makes this attack particularly deadly, besides the damage it does, which is nuts, is the fact that it does have some hyper armor to it, meaning that if you can basically get into the air, then you're unstoppable with this attack, pretty much. Uh, you're going to land it like through almost every attack a boss can do. Not, not everyone, I don't want to say everyone, but you can land it through so many attacks that really the strategy is to just go into a fight, hit L2, hit L2, and then hit L2, and it's pretty much over at that point if you buff. Like, there isn't any real craziness involved because it just poises through their attacks, hits them, and then you kind of back up if you can get the second attack off, and then you just leap in again, and it's over pretty quickly. And another thing that I really like, too, is that when you use this ability, you duck down before you leap. So a lot of times, like, if you're fighting tough bosses that have horizontal sweeps, you'll duck under these attacks and then leap into the air, which is great, particularly if you're using them, like, right next to them or something. I think out of all the NG Plus builds I've made, and there are some powerful ones, Pyromancer particularly, what the last build I did was really fast at killing bosses. This might actually be even faster than that. I mean, bosses were going down in 10 to 20 seconds in most cases, so it's absolutely fantastic. And the last thing I really like about this weapon, too, is because of the fact that the weapon skill scales off all three stats, and you have decent scaling and strength and faith and okay scaling and dexterity, you're going to be able to keep increasing the damage of this weapon all the way through NG+, 
and into New Game Plus Plus. So it's definitely a future-proof weapon. It's going to keep getting more and more damage through New Game Plus and into New Game Plus Plus. So you're never going to like plateau uh, for a while in terms of damage. So it's going to be able to do those very, very effectively. Besides this weapon, I also have the Claw Mark Seal because this is a Strength Faith build. Sweet spot for that is 45-45, which we're rather close to. So you can use spells with this build. I primarily use it for Golden Vow and Flame Gaming Strength. I don't even have it upgraded here because I'm just using it for those buffs. I don't find it necessary to use spells, but if you wanted to, you could use them okay with this setup. As you progress further and further into New Game Plus and New Game Plus Plus, incantations are just going to get less and less effective with this Claw Mark Seal because it's not the best seal to begin with in terms of spellcasting damage. So you're going to find that it's going to get harder and harder to cast spells. So I don't recommend it, but you can if you want. Beyond that, I am using the Drake Knight Armor set, which is the namesake of this build. And what I really like about the this armor, besides its appearance, is that it's based, it looks like a dragon or a drake. It has wings on the back, and you're using the Magma Worm Scale Sword, which looks like a dragon's jaw. So it's kind of got this dragon drakey theme to this build. I didn't call it a Dragon Knight. Obviously, we have that build already. So we went with Drake Knight for the name of the armor. You can use whatever armor you want for this build. Um, arguably, the... Uh, Raptor's Black Feathers would allow you to get more jump attack damage. You do do some jump attacks with this build, although it's not the focus. But, you know, higher protection, better armor is going to give you more protection. So you could use heavier armor as long as you can medium roll. When it comes to the Talismans, I have Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman for more protection. This is, again, one of my favorite ones. I use this on so many builds. Shard of Alexander to further boost Magma Guillotine's damage. Carrion Filigreed Crest is there to reduce the cost of it. You can probably get rid of this at some point in New Game Plus because as you increase, put more points into, you know, mind, you're going to gain enough that you FP that you don't need to use this anymore. This is one you'll probably be able to get rid of eventually at some point in New Game Plus. But for now, we're using it to help ease our FP costs. We also are using Golden Vow, which is very expensive. So you don't have as much FP as you want normally because you're buffing with that constantly. And we also have the Fire Scorpion Charm to increase our fire damage. The weapon attacks from this do mostly physical damage as does the weapon skill Magma Guillotine. But we want as much damage as possible, and you're going to take a little bit more damage from using this, but we have the Dragon Crest Great Shield, which helps offset that a little bit. So obviously you're going to use Golden Vow and Flame Grant Me Strength when you're in boss fights, but primarily you're just going to use Golden Vow, which will just increase your damage with attacks and your weapon skill, and also give you some more defense, which is good. So you're going to want to keep that up pretty much all the time that you're fighting. When it comes to the attributes for this build, I have 50 Vigor, 30 Mind, 22 Endurance, 55 Strength, 15 Dexterity, 16 Intelligence, 40 Faith, and 9 Arcane. You don't need any Intelligence or Arcane for this build, so disregard those. Start it as an Astrologer. You're probably tired of hearing this. This is the same save file, so just disregard those. You don't need any of those. If you're going with any other class, like Confessor or anything else, you're going to be in better shape. 50 Vigor is enough for this part of the game. You have the Dragon Crest Great Shield, decent armor, as well as Golden Vow. So your protection is pretty good. Um, and I would increase this to 60 as you progress through NG+. Mind is at 30 here in order for you to use Golden Vow constantly and still get off Magma Guillotine and its follow-up attack often, as often as you want them. If you have less than this, then you're going to struggle with, you know, taking pots. You're going to have to pot more often than you want. Um, you can get away with less, like 25 if you want, if you want to put points somewhere else and just pop more often. That's kind of up to you. But I would recommend as you go through New Game Plus, increasing this to 35 or 40. And that would allow you to dump the carry and filigree crest and slot something else there like Ritual Sword Talisman or any other talisman that you like, Green Turtle or something like that. 22 Endurance is there in order to give you enough equip load to medium roll. But you're going to want to take this up higher because Magma Guillotine is a stamina hungry weapon skill. And in order to get Magma Guillotine and the follow-up attack and Magma Guillotine and the follow-up attack, which is usually enough to kill most bosses or difficult enemies, you're going to need more in stamina than we have now. So it's the stamina you actually want from this more than the endurance, but you can upgrade your armor as you get more endurance and keep that medium equip load if you want. But I would probably take this up to 30 somewhere in New Game Plus in order to be able to pull off back-to-back -back Magma Guillotines with their follow-up attacks. 55 is the first soft cap for the damage for this weapon. It starts to drop off a bit here after 55, which is why we broke there. And at this point, I'm focusing on increasing faith up to about 50 or so in order to get more damage, um, particularly fire damage as well. And then from that point onward, you're probably going to increase dexterity or so to 50. And then you'll take strength and then faith up to 80 each. So you got a long ways to go in terms of damage attributes here. You got 25 more in strength. 35 more in dexterity and 40 more in faith. That's 
at least New Game Plus Plus, probably the end of New Game Plus Plus before you really start to reach the full potential of this weapon. And just a couple of tips before I wrap up this video. If you're using the Flask of Wonders Physique, you want the Flame Shrouded Crack tier. This will increase your fire damage with your attacks and your weapon skill. Again, you don't do 100% fire damage. You do about 30 to 40%. So you're not going to get total efficacy out of this. But it's still a great way to increase your damage. Alternatively, you could add something like Faith there or Strength to further increase your damage if you want. But I find fire is about the same damage-wise, so I use that. And besides that, you can use the Green Burst Crystal tier to give you stamina recovery. Again, Magma Guillotine is very stamina hungry, so getting your stamina back quickly so you can keep using it is essential. And when it comes to great runes, Godrix is obviously the rune of choice here. You need Vigor in Mind, Endurance, Strength, Dexterity, and Faith. Six of the eight uh, attributes. So getting an extra five in each of those is absolutely fantastic. Stay tuned, we have more build videos coming, and we should have another weapon video for you guys this week. I haven't quite decided which one it's going to be yet, so stay tuned to see that.